Charles are not entirely wrong. Our town is not perfect. We have our problems and we always will, but we have always faced them together. In their haste to point out what's wrong with Port Charles, they left out everything that's right. It's our police who not only keep us safe, but they make us feel welcome with a tip of their hats. It's the doctors and nurses at our fine medical institutions like General Hospital and Mercy. It's our small businesses in our charming and historic downtown. Mom and pop establishments like Charlie's and Kelly's, where I hung out after school as a kid and decades later my kids did, and now my grandchildren do. We are a strong community. Our soup kitchen has never run out of supplies, including firewood, so no one gets too cold in the winter. I am proud to be a citizen of Port Charles, as are many of you. We're not just a town, we're a family. We take care of each other. I'd like to propose a toast to my wife, a beacon of light if there ever was one. Here, here. More of the best damn mayor this town's ever seen. And a great friend. The greatest mother, a terrific grandmother, and an even better role model. And you will always be my sister-in-law. Always. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. And to Mayor Carter. <laughs> if I lose this recall, so be it. And if the person who replaces me is another son or daughter of Port Charles, a lifer like me, I know we will continue to grow. In new ways, perhaps, but hopefully always to our betterment.